Hello guys, welcome again and welcome if you're new. Um, today I'm going to tie this uh, dirty long leg dry fly and uh, I thought we'll just start start tying. The hook I'm using is uh, hands dry fly hook, barbless in the size 12. For this video, uh, you can tie it in uh, 14 as well. It's about those two sizes that are best to use. And we are making the tail out of those micro fibers this is a washing uh, glove for car washing mostly uh, start by putting on some thread as usual touching turns as good as it goes Like that. Then we just cut off one little piece here and decide about the length we're going to be satisfied with. Just need to get a little spin on my thread here just to grab it and you see that the material has a little natural curve on it which we want to catch so it can stick right up like that you know what I'm gonna cut a little bit of it like that Wrap it down with your thread and then tie it in. Not too heavy wraps in the beginning because it will turn. You want it on the top of the hook like that and you just tie it in like that. And then uh, we grab a little UV glue. Raid, raid sap, put a little bit on our fingers. Like that. This helps us to to form uh, the pupa a little bit like that. Torch it, torchy torch. that then we grab our pen I'm using this uh, brownish pen and because we have used a little UV glue we get a little structure on it as well So it won't get too heavy colored. Turns out really nice. Just like the, like so. You see a little gray in between the the brown 
spots it makes it a little bit natural then we grab our dry flat dabbing drag out a little brown just a little, little bit and I'd like to mix it up with a little bit of uh, squirrel dubbing in the color brown burnt orange just a little little bit mix it up a little bit Move your thread back, all the way back, grab our wax, wax your thread, and just put on a fine coat of dubbing. Build up a layer so it will be equal to the tail. And so it will grow a little, little bit heavier in front towards the thorax. Like so. And I like to grab my pen again just to mix up the colors a little bit. It's supposed to get darker and darker. You still get the little 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 glow of the squirrel through that. Um, then we grab black hairs ultra dubbing we take just a little 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 bit of that one to have behind the wings and you see now I'm approximately The, the beginning of the one third of the, the hook and it's time for the wings to tie in the wings and the legs we start by tying in the legs which are made out of these uh, uh, feathers here fasten tail and we take approximately three three legs on each side and just let it lay back like so it's fine and you want it to to lay on the side of the hook and spread out a little bit like so and you put the three legs on the other side as well You can buy those from uh, Wayne Yard. All tied up and ready to go. Spin your thread a little anti clockwise. Catch it.
secure it. Now cut off the axis. Take a sip of your coffee. Important. Now the wings. Cock de Leon. We focus on the small feathers on the side. Just make sure it's about the same color. I've already prepared one set of wings, but I'll just show you how I I do it. So we start by measure about the amount or the length of the wing and we strip off the other fibers we don't want to use like so then we take this flow glue cement from Wainyard it's a soft uh, it makes it a, almost as um, a little well plastic thing it's really nice to to use when you're making wings out of feathers or tails or you can use it in a lot of different ways like so you just pull it together form the wing when you're happy you just let it dry I usually stop it in my hackle pliers or in uh, this case I'm using those clamps here and I can just lay it on the table and they can dry and when they're finished you see they are flexible, they will not break, and the shape is just really, really nice. Just lay them on the top. Like so. And you start to figure eight. one turn behind because we want them to stand up a little bit my hands are shaking here it's very important to take your time to do this because if you cheat on this one the whole fly will suffer put on the second wing just make sure you don't get any lags with it just laying on top like that two loose wraps go behind the wing pull it a bit forward figure eight it position it right like that On the other side like that one turn around them like that and we put move behind here again
cut off the excess and I like to put on some little sap. Those guys catches a lot of wing when you're throwing so it's nice to secure them. Uh, we take our our foam here and tie it in behind the wings. The reason I do it after I've tied in the wings is just because I like the space. I like to have the space to tie in the wings. So nothing else will get in the way. It's the only reason. I find it easier. You can uh, decide for yourself what you find more easy. When you've secured the foam, you take a little bit more of this uh, black hair dubbing. Tear it apart a little bit. Like so, wax your thread. Like so. And make a thin dubbing layer on your thread. Like so. And carefully start to dub here between the wings one time around the wings just to lift them up a little bit make it a soft turn like so a little bit more dubbing This is the thorax we are creating in front of the wing, between the wings, and the last in front of the wing, like so. Push it back a little bit. So, drag your foam Tie it off Like so, not too hard so you won't cut the, the foam Under Now you take a whip finisher just make a three way finishes to start with. Cut your foam off like so. Then I like to make a little bit of a head in front here. Just to get the right proportion on, on the fly. Every fly has a hat, right? Like so. It makes the shadow of the, the fly a little bit more realistic. That's what it's all about. One last we, we finish. Cut off your thread, tidy up a little bit. Now you can see the wings are 
facing a little bit all over the place. So I like to cheat, cheat a little bit here and I take a little bit of a UV glue here because I, I want them to stay in place. I take just a small amount on each wing towards the uh, the foam. I press my wings up a little bit with my fingers and cure it. Now they will stay in place, whatever happens. And the only thing that is left to do is a little head cement on the thread. I always forget that I've got a pencil on this, a brush, or what do you call it? Just a little bit like that. Now we take our dubbing needle and we just see to that everything is in the right place and the body is smooth and fine. You see this little squirrel dubbing sticking out there a little bit too much. Don't like that. We cut it up like that. In this one, I'll raise up the body a little bit back like this and separate the legs a little bit. And we've got a fine little long legged daddy fly, right? It's a lot easier be before you drink three, four cups of coffee. Just a tip. Thanks guys. Hope to see you in next uh, video.